Rainwater can be an asset as well as a challenge in the landscape. With our rainwater cistern and our rain barrels, we looked at ways to collect and reuse rainwater. When we looked at rain gardens with our Garden Fest speaker, we looked at managing excess rainfall in the landscape. Today we're going to look at another way to manage excess rainfall through our hardscape materials. And joining us for this is Professor Michael Holmes, a landscape architecture professor. Thanks for joining us today, Michael. Well, I'm glad to be here. Well, we've previously discussed some of the problems with rainwater running off out of our landscapes, causing <laughs> pollution in rivers and streams. Let's take a look at rainwater in the landscape and how we can manage that. Yeah, um, if you're thinking about the landscape, that um, one of the questions when I'm working with my students um, in the classroom, I ask them what happens to all the um, rain that falls on their home landscape. Mm -hmm. And so the rain, their responses are, oh, the rain that falls on the planting beds, most all that soaks into the ground. Yeah. And so that's mended soil. So that's not really a ma major concern. Um, for lawn areas, a lot of that, um, sometimes the lawn is compacted. Yeah. Some of that runs off, some of it soaks into the ground depending on the storm event. So managing our lawns well will help Oh, most definitely, most definitely. The other key piece of the landscape is the hardscape. Mm -hmm. And so water that fall, actually falls on the hardscape, that water, the majority of that water, actually runs off at a fast rate and has minimal opportunity for infiltration. And in the home landscape, we're looking at driveways, patios, walkways. Mm -hmm. Very much so, very okay. much so. If we want to start to manage that water, what would be the first step? So um, if you're trying to promote infiltration of water, um, the filtration of water for water quality or water quantity sake, then um, look at the hardscape and try to figure out are there ways you can minimize that. Mm -hmm. So if there is a, um, a secondary pathway that you might be thinking about installing um, and you use that, you aren't using that every day, maybe you use it every once or twice a week, then does that have to be a full concrete sidewalk? You know, could it be something less impactive, maybe stepping stones, or maybe even mulch might be an mm -hmm. option as well. Mulch makes a good, easy path as well, mm -hmm. and inexpensive. And, mm -hmm. and very much promotes infiltration, very, mm -hmm. a soft solution. Uh, if you're thinking about your driveway, um, you know, if there's a, a um, that third parking space that only get used, used occasionally, is that necessary? Could they park in the street? Um, or could you use some type of alternative hardscape solution? So, okay. so, so for those areas where we need some hardscape, mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of different options available. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to go to our new entrance and take a look at some of them. Okay. All right. Well, Michael, one way to reduce our Rainwater runoff from hard surfaces is to use a permeable or pervious surface like we have here. Um, this is a wonderful new demonstration. Tell us a bit about this. Yeah, well, we're very excited about this project. Mm -hmm. um, this road segment actually demonstrates two applications. There's the uh, right side of the road here has uh, is a standard impermeable paving, so the water just runs off of that in a, at a regular pace. Mm -hmm. And then on the left side here, we're actually looking at a permeable system where the water actually moves through the system. Uh, the storm water moves through the system and is temporarily stored underneath and released slowly into the landscape. And in this situation, we're releasing that water slowly, but you can actually use this type of system to store the water, correct? Yes, you can use it to store the water and then maybe um, if you have a um, system that can apply that to your landscape, that would be another great opportunity. It's not that different than a cistern or a rain barrel. Okay. 